China has unveiled a new technological breakthrough that could redefine modern warfare, a high-power microwave HP weapon with power comparable to a nuclear explosion. Unlike conventional weapons, this experimental device uses electromagnetic pulses EMPs, to disable electronics and wreak havoc on critical systems. What makes it even more extraordinary is its compact design and ability to target multiple threats simultaneously, including drones and satellites. In this video, we'll explore how this weapon works, what challenges its developers faced, and why it's seen as a potential game changer in global security. China's high-power microwave, HPM, weapon is a technological marvel, harnessing electromagnetic pulses to disable electronics without the devastating fallout of nuclear explosions. This weapon operates by generating EMPs with power levels exceeding 1 gigawatt, a scale previously considered unfeasible for such systems. These EMPs can disable or destroy electronic circuits, effectively neutralizing satellites, drones, and other electronic systems critical to modern operations. What sets this system apart is its phased C-Wave transmission technology. Traditional HPM weapons use dish-like antennas that rotate to engage targets, but phased array systems enable the precise focusing of energy across multiple directions simultaneously. This allows the weapon to target and neutralize several threats at once with exceptional accuracy. The system achieves this by emitting electromagnetic waves through eight independent channels, stabilized and distributed by a groundbreaking power divider. This power divider, about the size of a household pedestal fan, produces an electric field strength of 80,000 volts per meter. For context, this matches the intensity of EMPs generated during nuclear detonations. The device has been rigorously tested, enduring over 5,000 full power pulses without any significant degradation in performance. Its operating efficiency of 96.6% ensures minimal energy loss, a critical feature in high energy systems. Achieving this stability is a massive breakthrough. Historically, HPM weapons face challenges with system instability, often destroying themselves due to the intense energy output. Chinese researchers overcame this hurdle by converting rotating electromagnetic waves into a more stable form before directing them through the phased class server antennas. This innovation makes the system not only functional but also practical for real-world deployment. Such advancements elevate HPM technology to a new level of reliability and scalability. With the ability to deliver consistent, high-powered EMPs, China's weapon meets military requirements for durability, precision, and efficiency. The implications of China's HPM weapon for military operations are vast and transformative. This technology could fundamentally change how nations approach defense and offense, particularly encountering drones, satellites, and other critical systems that rely on electronic infrastructure. One of the most striking applications is its potential to neutralize communication satellites, such as those in the Starlink network. These low-Earth orbit satellites rely on commercial-grade electronics designed for cost efficiency rather than military-grade resilience. With its Ku-band electromagnetic pulses, the HPM weapon can disrupt or disable these systems, causing widespread communication blackouts. In a conflict, this could severely hamper an adversary's ability to coordinate forces and relay intelligence. Beyond satellites, the weapon's ability to target aerial drones is equally significant. Traditional methods of neutralizing drones involve missiles or physical interception, which are expensive and often limited in scope. The HPM weapon, by contrast, emits a wide-area cone-shaped beam, enabling it to disable multiple drones simultaneously at a fraction of the cost. This gives militaries a significant tactical advantage, particularly in scenarios where large numbers of drones are deployed. What makes this weapon particularly disruptive is its limitless magazine depth. Unlike kinetic weapons, which rely on finite ammunition, HPM systems can fire repeatedly as long as there is power. This ensures continuous operation in prolonged engagements, a crucial factor in modern warfare. Additionally, its ability to operate non-lethally by disabling vehicles and systems without causing physical destruction opens new possibilities for rules of engagement particularly in situations where minimizing collateral damage is essential. 
This development also intensifies the global arms race in directed energy weapons. The United States has been investing heavily in similar technologies, deploying advanced laser systems like Helios on naval ships. China's HPM weapon, however, demonstrates an approach focused on electromagnetic pulses, offering capabilities that are more versatile and potentially more impactful. The emergence of China's HPM weapon raises critical questions about the future of warfare, security, and technology. Its ability to disable drones, satellites, and other electronic systems without physical destruction represents a shift in how conflicts are fought. The implications extend far beyond the battlefield, touching on global security, industrial innovation, and international regulations. One of the most immediate concerns is the vulnerability of existing systems. Civilian and military satellites, communication networks, and drones often rely on components that are not designed to withstand high-intensity electromagnetic pulses. For example, the Starlink network, which has been instrumental in conflicts like the Russia-Ukraine war, uses commercial-grade materials to keep costs down. These materials, while efficient for normal operations, are susceptible to the powerful EMPs generated by HPM weapons. This vulnerability highlights the urgent need for more resilient designs, which could drive up costs and slow deployment across industries. The potential for non-lethal engagement also poses new ethical dilemmas. While disabling systems without causing physical destruction might seem less harmful, it could lead to targeted disruptions of civilian infrastructure. Power grids, communication networks, and financial systems could all be at risk creating a new form of warfare that blurs the lines between military and civilian targets. Such scenarios demand a re-evaluation of the rules of engagement and international law. On a geopolitical level, this weapon accelerates the arms race in directed energy technologies. The United States, China, and other major powers are investing heavily in systems like HPPM weapons and lasers, seeking to gain a technological edge. This competition could destabilize regions like the South China Sea, where territorial disputes already create tension. The introduction of HPM weapons into such volatile environments could provoke conflicts or escalate existing ones, especially if nations perceive these systems as threats to their strategic assets. The broader implications for technology are equally profound. As HPM systems become more advanced, industries beyond defense may adopt similar technologies for civilian use. For example, non-lethal EMP systems could be used for crowd control, cybersecurity, or even disaster recovery. However, the dual-use nature of this technology also increases the risk of misuse, highlighting the need for robust regulations and oversight. China's development of this high-power microwave weapon is more than a technological milestone. It's a wake-up call. This innovation highlights the rapid pace at which military technologies are evolving and the profound implications they have for global security. As we've seen, the ability to disable drones, satellites, and critical systems with non-lethal precision could redefine the rules of warfare. But it's not just about the weapon itself. It's about what it represents. A shift towards a future where conflicts are fought with pulses of energy rather than bullets or bombs. Whether this technology leads to a safer world or a more dangerous one depends on how it's used and how the global community responds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more updates on space exploration and scientific discoveries, and don't forget to leave a comment below. Also, you can visit our website, spaceinews.com. Thank you for watching, and see you next time.